Hey everyone, welcome to another video by Simply Learn. In this video, we'll help you install Node.js on your Windows system. So without further ado, let's begin. The first thing you need to do is download Node.js from their official website. So go ahead and type download Node.js. Navigate to their official website. And here you can see the 64-bit version. So go ahead and download that. Once the download is done, go ahead and run the downloaded Node.js installer. Accept the license agreement. Keep the default settings as it is. And then say install. So with that, we finish the installation process. Once Node has been successfully installed, the next crucial step is verification. Now this process ensures that Node has been properly installed. To do so, we first open the command prompt and then type in a few commands. To verify the successful installation, we type in this command, node-v. Now this command returns the version and if it returns the version, it means it has been successfully installed. So here we go, it returns the latest version. Now the final step is to update the node package manager. Now this npm is bundled with node.js which consists of all the repositories and packages required for development purposes. So to do that, type in the command npm install npm hyphen hyphen global. Now that we're done with the installation of Node, let's go ahead and implement a small program. For that, we make use of a text editor. In our case, we've installed VS Code. So go ahead and download VS Code. Once you're done with the installation, this is what VS Code looks like. So go ahead and click on File and create a new file. It's going to be a simple program where you're going to print a hello world message on the web browser. To do that, we make use of HTTP modules. So Node comes with built-in HTTP modules to transfer data across it. So for that, we make use of a require method. We create a variable first, say var HTTP equals require and just say HTTP within single quotes. Now the HTTP module can create an HTTP server that listens to the server ports and gives a response back to the client. To do that, we make use of the create server method. So let's go ahead and type the code. Say HTTP dot create server and internally it consists of a function. Now the parameters to this function are request and response. Now the response is basically used to write to the client. So we say response.write and here we type in the message. We say hello world. Welcome to this tutorial. Once you're done with that, you end the response. So the server listens to a port number to display the message. By default, it listens to the port number 8080. So we keep that as it is and we end it. Save your file, say demo.js, maybe demo1.js and say save. Now to run the program, you have to open the command prompt. So open your command prompt and mention the path to your file. So in our case, it's our desk, it's saved on the desktop. So cd desktop. And now to run it, say node demo1.js. Now you navigate to your browser and say localhost 8080. And here we go. Our message is successfully displayed. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Keep learning and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.